We're running out of fresh water, we're running out of arable land. Many have predicted that we need to turn to the oceans for our food sources as well. The mix of wild fisheries and aquaculture versus the amount of protein that we receive from land-based activities is going to be a very important consideration as we try to find the right way forward to a sustainable uh, future for feeding the world. I think politicians too often use the word sustainability because it's the right thing to say, not because you are ready to kind of do what's necessary to have a sustainable development or sustainable uh, use of our uh, oceans. I like to think of sustainability when you think about the oceans in a different three-legged stool. Smarter fishing is the first leg. The second leg is to think about habitat conservation. The third then is if you've got smarter fishing and you're taking care of your habitat, is what else can you do with that resource? From a business perspective, sustainability is about keeping the business running for the next several decades ahead, meaning that you need to be cost efficient. The society and the capital market in the world is demanding the business people to become more sustainable and the question is, are you doing that fast enough? When you think of the economics of fisheries, you think of jobs. But when we look much broader than that, and we look at the financial value of what the oceans provide, the figures are actually a staggering 20 trillion US dollars per annum in terms of the services that the ocean provides to us. From the regulatory side, you need to work together with your neighboring countries, but you also need to work together with countries all over the world. Because fish caught illegally in our waters could end up on the other side of the world. The idea of limits was difficult for this country to accept, but we have turned the corner on ending overfishing in the United States. And we're very proud of that, but you know we can't rest on our laurels. What are the myths that are slowly being dispelled around aquaculture? The first is that the fish that has been farmed is less healthy or not as good as a wild fish. And the second is that we damage the environment by farming fish in the coastlines. There's a cultural change happening in this country in terms of how we think about aquaculture. And eventually, I think the average consumer who goes to supermarkets and buys farm salmon, farm shrimp, and farm tilapia will come to understand that, that their food doesn't just, just come from a supermarket, but it actually can come from their local coastal communities. I think it's very good that the industry itself are addressing these myths, but I think also the government has a role in this, because if the industry is telling their consumers that this is safe to eat, uh, maybe they don't trust uh, you as much as if third parties would say the same. We have a, such a wonderful story. I mean, if you compare salmon production, for example, on almost any ground to chicken or lamb or pork in terms of uh, edible yields, in terms of the water usage, in terms of the carbon footprint, the, the numbers that salmon brings to the table are astonishingly better than any other product. But we've done a poor job in telling that story. Even though Norway and Chile are the, the largest producers of, of salmon in the world, in the total aquaculture production in the world, we're quite small. But if we can share uh, our knowledge how to produce food in the sea with countries like China, with uh, especially Asia, but also other parts in the world, I think that could help solve one of the um, kind of the, the main challenges we are discussing today, how to feed the world. All these issues are so interrelated. If we don't deal with it systemically, then we really aren't. We're going to solve one problem and cause another. So we need to look at it in that holistic way. Becoming more sustainable implies that you become more cost efficient. You become more competitive and the margins are higher. Good business goes hand by hand with sustainability.